I am Mississauga. I was here before Canada became a country, and I remember. I am Mississauga. To some, I am young land, newly created, growing rapidly. In fact, I have ancient roots. The river that flows through my heart has shaped my land and my people for thousands of years. Indigenous peoples walked my forests long before others came. In 1867, I was still young and sparsely populated. My roads and railways were new. I had a small scattering of villages across my land. Memories of recent conflicts, although from elsewhere, still lingered in my mind. My sons and daughters were building, creating, shaping me. They had grand ideas and visions for the future. Dreams of a great and peaceful land where their children would be safe. And I was safe, at least for the moment. Insecurity lingered as a civil war raged to my south. I was not American, nor was I English. I was something else. Could there be something more definable? Could we create something of our own? The great leaders debated. I remember the years before Canada came to be. My sons and daughters in discussions on what could be. Should we become a country of our own? Could we? I sent many to Parliament to debate this important issue. Debate was constant and the path uncertain. Conversation was often contentious. Opinions varied, always focused on trying to make the right choices. The road to Confederation was not an easy one. Politics fractured yet continually drew my sons and daughters back together, divided in consensus on the road to travel, united in pushing toward an uncertain goal. For more than 20 years, the idea of a grand federal union was debated before the conferences at Charlottetown and Quebec were convened in 1864. I waited and listened. The idea of confederation faded before the Fenian invasions of 1866. My sons and daughters did their part in the defense of their homeland. With this new threat, the dream of confederation found new determination, a strengthened resolve. I was there in London, England in 1866, seeking the common path forward to Union. I signed the agreement. I was there in 1867 when royal assent was granted. The British North American Act was proclaimed and the Dominion of Canada was born. I was also home to a father of confederation. I was part of the debate, often difficult yet unyieldingly focused on the path forward. I stood side by side with the great leaders and was challenged by the same tough choices. Together, we created the ties that bind this great nation together. I am Mississauga. I was there 150 years ago and I remember. Thank you.